Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to take up the fourth numerical on digital modulation techniques. Please note this is a numerical on binary frequency shift key. Let me read out the question first. Signal vectors S1 and S2 are used to represent binary symbols 1 and 0 respectively in a coherent binary frequency shift keying system. Let the observation vector be denoted by x. The coordinates of the transmitted signal vectors S1 and S2 are S11, S12 and S21, S22 respectively and that of the observation vector x is x1, x2. The receiver decides in favor of symbol 1 when x1 is greater than x2. Show that this is equivalent to inner product of x and s1 greater than inner product of x and s2. That is what is shown in the equation format here. Please note when I write within bracket x, si that is the inner product of the observation vector x and the signal vector si and it is equal to x1 si1 plus x2 si2. Please note this is the same exact binary FSK system which we have considered for deriving the equation for average probability of symbol error. So, I highly recommend you to watch that video first before continuing with this one. You can watch the same by clicking on the link shown in the top right corner right now or I will leave the link of the same in the video description below. Please note here we are told the receiver decides in favor of symbol 1 when x1 is greater than x2. This is the decision rule and the question says show that this decision rule is as good as saying the inner product of x and s1 greater than inner product of x and s2. If I show this to be equivalent to x1 greater than x2, then that would be the solution for this numerical. Right, let us now start the solution part. It is given that it is a binary FSK system and I would start with that. Then we are told the transmitted signal vectors S1 and S2 are S11, S12 and S21, S22. We are also told that the observation vector x is located at x1, x2. Therefore, the observation signal vector is given by Now, I am going to use the concept of coherent binary FSK system and I am going to borrow the values of S11, S12 and S21, S22. So, I would start by saying for a binary coherent FSK system, the input signal vectors are defined as it is given by S1 equals square root of e b and 0. This is nothing but s11, s12 and the second signal vector s2 is equal to 0 root e b and this is nothing but s21, s22. Please note e b here is the signal energy per bit. Right. With this information, we can now very quickly plot the constellation diagram for binary coherent FSK. Please note the received signal x has a coordinate equal to x1, x2. Now, we are told in the numerical that when x1 is greater than x2, a decision is made in favor of symbol 1. The question then continues to say, if this is the decision rule, then prove that 
when the inner product of x comma s1 is greater than the inner product of x comma s2 this is as good as saying x1 greater than x2 so we are asked to rewrite the decision rule by simply replacing x1 greater than x2 by the equation that is shown here to prove that i will now find the inner product of x and s1 and then continue to find the same for x and s2 that is inner product of x and s1 is equal to x transpose into s1 x transpose is equal to x1 x2 and s1 is s11 s12 both of them being vectors let us now substitute for s11 and s12 so this is x1 x2 multiplied by root eb and 0 this is equal to x1 root eb plus x2 into 0 therefore the inner product of x comma s1 is equal to x1 into root eb i'll call this as equation 1 now i'll find the inner product of x and s2 that is inner product of x comma s2 is equal to x transpose into s2 given by x1 x2 multiplied by the column vector s21 s22 now i'll substitute for s21 and s22 so this is equal to x1 x2 multiplied by 0 root eb this is equal to x1 multiplied by 0 plus x2 multiplied by root eb therefore the inner product of x and s2 is equal to x2 into root eb let this be equation 2 now let us come back to the numerical and see what is given we are told the decision rule says when x1 is greater than x2 the receiver decides in favor of symbol 1 and then we are asked to replace x1 greater than x2 by inner product of x s1 greater than inner product of x s2 so when i compare equations 1 and 2 carefully particularly the rhs i will note that the only change between these two is nothing but the variables x1 and x2 when x1 is greater than x2 we will find that the inner product of x and s1 will become greater than the inner product of x and s2 so from equation 3 we find that when x1 is greater than x2 this is equivalent to inner product of x s1 greater than inner product of x s2 therefore we will now write so equation 3 simply is the proof of the given numerical right that is the end of this video if you like this video kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more information on digital communication thank you for watching have a good day